I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. We have taken some excellent questions from previous test papers. I'm calling this as extended exam review for oblique triangles. We have applications based on sine law, cosine law, and area of triangles. The related formulas are given to you right there. This is the most popular formula used for oblique angle area of triangles. Here is another one which is sometimes used when you are provided with angle side angle. Sine law and cosine law you are very familiar with. In this question we need to find perimeter and area of the given figure. The figure here is a pentagon, right? You need to figure out the area and perimeter of this figure. You can actually pause the video now Try to solve this question and then look into my suggestions. Now, it's a very complicated question. Let us see first how to begin. Well, as you can see, what we are given here is most of the sides and only one side is missing and which is ED. So if we figure out what this is, we can find what perimeter is. How do we get to that? Well, we can begin with uh, this part. We are given two sides and the included angle. And therefore, we can solve a triangle. So let me draw a line connecting A with C. So in that case, this particular triangle, ABC, can be solved using cosine law. Since we are given side, angle, side, we are going to use cosine law. Correct? To find the side and the formula will be used given here. So the side length which is A to C is square root of these two sides square minus 2AB cos of C. So from there we'll begin. Once we find AC then we know the side well the angle we can also find here using sine law. And then we'll continue with the second triangle, dividing this by joining AC. And then the third triangle, that way we'll be able to solve the question. So I hope this strategy is absolutely clear, right? So now, let's begin with the solution. So we'll begin with the triangle ABC. So first step is connect. A to C and then we'll use cosine law and find what AC is. So AC is square root of these two squares, right? 15 square plus 5 square minus 2 times 15, 5 and cosine of the angle included which is 35 degrees. So let's use the calculator to calculate this answer. So we have 15 square plus 5 square minus 2 times 5 times 15 times cos of 35 degrees and we'll square root this 127.127 we'll square root our answer and what we get here is 11.275. So we get this as equal to 11.275. So we have the side here which is 11.275 for us. Perfect. Now we need to find the angle. So how do you find this angle? In the given triangle, we have a combination of known angle and the side. And therefore, we can now use the sine law. Do you see how to use these laws, right? So we'll use the sine law and find the angle. So we can say sine of the angle, which is CAB over the side opposite, which is 5, that should be equal to sine of the known angle 35 degrees 
over the side which we just found 11.275 so from here we can say that the angle CAB is equal to sine inverse of all this which is 5 over 11.275 times sine of 35 degrees correct so let's calculate this so first we'll do the calculation 5 divided by 11.275 and then we are going to multiply this by sine of 35 degrees and do shift sine inverse of our answer and what we get here is equal to the angle of this which is 14.735 i'm going to round this to 14.7 so we got this angle as 14.7 degrees clear now we got this angle we can find the other angle let's go to the next page i'll note down these numbers 14.7 and 11.275 so 11.275 i've already written now here we have 14.7 degrees which we just found okay so the angle now will continue with e ac and that should be equal to 70 degrees minus 14.7 right so 9 take away 5 and then we get 6 take away 55.3 degrees so this angle here will become 55.3 degrees again we have this combination of two sides and an angle so we'll use the cosine law once again right so we'll apply cosine law to find the side e to c which is square root of the squares of these two which is 10 square plus 11.275 square minus 2 times 10 times 11.275 cos of the angle 55.3 degrees correct so now let's find this value so it is 10 square plus 11.275 square minus 2 times 10 times 11.275 times cos of 55.3 degrees and we'll square root our answer which gives us the value of ec as 9 point we'll round it to 9.94 so we have ec as 9.94 you see how we move from one triangle to the other now it is the right angle triangle so we can use the pythagorean theorem so we can have ed which is a smaller side so there'll be 9.94 square hypotenuse minus 6 square square root so let's calculate this answer so we have square root of 9.94 square minus 6 square and that gives you 7.92 we'll write this to 7.9 so we have 7.9 here so now we can add them all and find the perimeter which was required so let's add them we have 15 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7.9 plus 10 so so when you add them up you get how much let's add them we got 15 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7.9 plus 10 and that is 43.9 so that becomes the perimeter for us right so we got the perimeter so first part has been done so you've seen how 
we move from this triangle to that to get the results. Combination of cosine law and sine law help us to do the needful. Now we need to find the area. So let's move on to a fresh page to find the area. How are you going to do it? Well, to find the area, we can use this formula given to us, area of a triangle as half of A, B sine C. Using this formula, two sides and the included angle, right? Two sides and the included angle gives us the area. So that's the figure for us. Let's write down all the angles which we calculated and then we'll continue from there. So the angles for us are 14.7 and 55.3. So this was 14.7 and this is 55.3 and that is the right angle. So that is not a problem, right? So that's good. So uh, let's find each area beginning from the first one which is let's say a1 a2 and a3 so the area formula which we are using is half of 8b sine c right as a special case we know sine of 90 degrees is 1 and that is the case for the right angle triangle correct Okay, so the area of the first triangle is half of, so that is our first triangle, 15 times 5 times sine of 35 degrees. The area of the second triangle is, we'll use calculator later, calculate all the values, 11.25275 times 10 times sine of 55.3 degrees and the third is half of base times height and this was 7.9 if I remember 7.9 times 6 that's it so let's calculate these values and then we'll add them so we have 0 0.5 times 15 times 5 times sine of 35 and that gives us 21.5. Let me write down. 21.5. The next one. 0. 0.5 times 11.275 times 10 times sine of 55.3. And that is 18.5, let us see. The, the last one here is 0. 0.5 times 7.9 times 6, and that is 23.7. Let me use this uh, calculation once again. So we have 0. 0.5 times 11.275 times 10 times sine of 55.3 it is yeah so expected that to be bigger than this number so it is 46.34 correct so that is what we get let's recheck 5.5 times 11.275 times 10 times sine of 55.3 there's no harm in checking right Yes, 46.348. So that's correct. So we'll add these two values. Anyway, you have understood the method, right? So use this particular method to find the solution. And when we add them all, that is A1 plus A2 plus A3, we get a value which is 91.548. So let's say 91.45 meter square as our area so that is how you can actually find the area of the given figure so there we go so i hope you have understood the concept so the idea here is to first understand all the formulas which are here area you could calculate using two sides and the included angle for any oblique triangle, right? 
if sometimes you're given angle side angle, there's another alternate formula. Now, in this case, we had side angle side, we could use cosine law to find the third side. Once we find the third side, it's a good idea to use sine law, calculate the angles. Now, once you have the angle, continue the process. And what we saw here is that we started from here, landed this side, and did all the calculations, getting perimeter as well as area. Perfect. So, so we got the value of the perimeter as 43.9 meters and area as 91.5 meters square. You may do the calculations, just check them out, but I hope you have understood the method. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. Remember, these are some of the toughest questions you can have on the given topic. Feel free to write your comments. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.